Hi there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please push the bell icon so you will receive notification of all my regular uploads. So today I will be working on something a little different than art journal pages, just for change and you know me, I like variety. So I found this very nicely colored bottle. Now two sides of it have some engraved advertisement on it, so those sides I will cover up completely. But here on the other two, I want the light to have a chance to peek through, so I use these little round rings and some of these colored cabochons. Now first I also added these plastic round stickers. I think they're meant to go into altered bottle tops, but I will change those out later on. I also add some beads, mostly the nicely colored glass ones I had in my little stash. And then I used E6000 to glue all this down. Now I had to go slow here and let one side dry completely before working on the other side. Otherwise everything kind of shifts around. So here everything is dry and really stuck well. And as you can see I replaced those plastic circles with some glass cabochons and I like the look a lot better. Next, I take a piece of painter's tape just to protect the top of the bottle, as at this point I thought it might look nice to have the light blue peek out later on, but I changed my mind <laughs> on that one too. And then I use some simple decoupage glue and a string, and yes, this is kind of messy and sticky, and I add it to my bottle for initial texture. My plan is to keep the design of this bottle rather simple because I think it will be going to one of my boys and then not into too many frills or charms and so on. But of course you can go very fancy on these type of bottles. You could use tissue paper, you can use cheesecloth, all kinds of materials. You can definitely add charms and ribbons and whatever you may like to do. So for this particular bottle, I kept it simple. I am adding the string a couple of times around. I added a second piece and I left enough room between those little cabochons and circles that my string will just fit. Once in a while, I have to use a little tool to squeeze it in there, but it goes on pretty easily. And then again, I need to let this dry really, really well. There was a lot of drying time involved in this little project and I worked on it over the period of a couple of days. So I would not call this a fast project, but it's definitely a simple one. And you can easily work on something else while this thing <laughs> dries so in between. So finally, the string is up. Here it is. You can see it's pretty irregular and that's fine. And I make sure everything sits where it needs to go. And then I let it dry. So here it is dry and ready for the next step. I use some very simple texture paste and I pretty much cover the whole bottle with it. Now the sides are very easy to cover. Even though there is some string, it goes on fast. And the only thing I watched out for was not applying this paste too thick, so the drying time was not going to be too long. Now here in the front, it was a different story. It was a bit fiddly and it takes a little patience. So so I took a very small pellet knife and later on an even smaller instrument and went all around the cabochons and the little circles. Now I cleaned up as I went, but actually on top of these glass elements, you can very easily scrape off anything which you may miss. The texture paste will even come off after it's hardened. Anyway, here it is all done. Both sides are done and dry. And next I use my black gel to cover everything. And again, the two sides with the cabochons took a lot longer and I had to use a very small paintbrush to do so. For this part, I put on some nice music and just enjoyed the process. Sometimes I like little fiddly things. It all just depends on my mood. So everything is covered and everything is dry. And I realized when I was trying out the light that that it nearly slipped through the top of the bottle. So I decided to leave the 
tape on there and just paint it. That way it was a bit tighter and I wasn't in danger of losing my little light. So as soon as that's dry, I want to go on and give the texture, of course, some highlights. For that, I use my metallic acrylic paints. I use two different types of bronze, a darker brown one, and then also some reddish tone. I kind of mix it all together. The bronze on itself was a little too bright and the brown was a little too dark so I played with it until I had kind of the right color I wanted and in this case I am putting a rather generous amount on it because I didn't want too much black shining through so I go all over and again I'm not being too careful with those little glass cabochons because they clean off super easy afterwards. Now here is a close-up so you get a better view of the result. Now with the baby wipe these little glass pieces clean up very easily. I even used the baby wipe around a little tool to clean inside those little circles and really no problem. So here's my completed project and I'm sorry I am not explaining this light very well. I used it once before in one of my projects. It has a USB port so you can recharge it very easily and it's inexpensive. I bought it on Amazon. Now I will be posting a photo where you can see what these lights look like. Now with the lights on, I can see a lot of tiny light holes all throughout this bottle because my coverage was not 100%, but I really don't mind it. It gives it a bit of a galaxy feel. That brings me to the end of this video and I'm surprised I chatted all the way through. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. See you really soon again and bye bye for now.